In the past two years, TikTok has eclipsed every other social media platform by becoming one of the top five most utilized apps in the entire world. With its popularity comes an influx of users that are not just posting dances and contributing to popular trends, but posting their unusual or hard to believe experiences. Many of these moments have been captured accidentally on ring cam, and if it weren't for the automatic recording of these clips, many would be hard to believe just from word of mouth. In this video, I will go over 10 of my favorite ring cam videos that I found on TikTok. Some are downright disgusting, while others will leave you double checking your front door locks before going to bed at night. Our first clip gives new meaning to the phrase, unexpected visitors. TikTok user Aiden Gall official captured this man with a major sense of urgency trying to open the front door to his home. At first glance, you would think the mystery man is trying to open the door to his own house, given his persistence to try to get inside. And I like... Hi. What can I do for you? Joe, get the fuck out of here. What are you doing? <laughs> Suddenly, the homeowner says the name Joe, implying that the mystery man might be a neighbor or friend, but that still doesn't explain why he is trying to break inside the house. The man named Joe just smiles and acts like the homeowner is playing hard to get before attempting to continue to try the knob. Are you trying to get in? You want me to call the police on you? What are you doing? Joe, I'm calling the police. The homeowner has had enough and threatens to call the police on the visitor with no further resolution filmed in the video. My guess is that the mystery man took some type of illegal substance which caused his stomach to become very upset. And this explains the disorientation, confusion, and urgency when trying to get in through the front door of the stranger's home. Whether it's substances or just a bad batch of Chipotle wrecking havoc on his stomach, this clip is more entertaining than threatening and still leaves the question if the man ever found relief after this shitty encounter. Number two, this is a setup. This next clip will make you think twice before opening your front door to anyone you don't recognize. The string cam owner captured the moment when a woman and presumably a man try to overpower a homeowner answering their front door. At first, the mystery guest seems polite when she asks if she can use the homeowner's phone since her vehicle broke down in front of his house. Hello, do y'all have a phone I can use? My car broke down and y'all's the only one that got a light on. We don't. The woman then proceeds to say that this man's home was the only house with the lights on. I personally find both those statements to be red flags because one, in 2022, how do you or your partner not have a cell phone to use? And secondly, the woman admits to looking for homes with lights on, meaning that this couple could have been outside scouting for homes for an undisclosed amount of time waiting for the optimal opportunity. Luckily, the homeowner is very skeptical of these two's intentions and with good reason. When he declines the woman in the forefront from using his phone, her partner moves out of the background and pulls out a gun to force himself inside. Sorry. Fast on his feet, the homeowner closes the door and leaves the two perpetrators no choice but to run away after having their plan foiled. Hopefully, this is the last home they decided to visit before calling it a night. Number 3. Too Close for Comfort The third clip in the countdown serves as a cautionary tale for any single mothers who walk a considerable distance from their car to their front door. You can literally count down the seconds that would have made all the difference in whether or not this man would have made it inside. In the clip, a mother is walking inside the front door to her home with her child trailing closely behind. As she closes the front door and habitually locks it, we see a dark figure walking closer and closer into frame. At first, you might think it's a relative or a neighbor given how calmly they walk up to the property, but then we see his face on the ring cam and realize he has no business being in this woman's personal space so late at night. Having no clue to her surprise guest's presence, we hear the mother arguing with her child to go take a shower before bed. Go shower really fast. I need you to go shower. She locks the door and we hear the click on the master lock before the man reaches for the doorknob. When counting down the time, barely three seconds go by before the man attempts to break in. Thankfully, the mother is on high alert and hears the knob rattling and asks who it is. The visitor keeps a similar expression of voidness on his face before the mother orders him to leave. The man backs up and stands there menacingly while the mother continues to demand his departure. Get out of here! There's a guy outside, look! If it wasn't for the mom's quick thinking and muscle memory, something much more sinister might have taken place that evening. Number 4. 
knives out. What would you do if someone was knocking at your door at almost 3 a.m. and was holding up a machete? Hopefully calling the cops and not opening the door is your only answer. Not sure what the circumstance behind the visit is, but it literally looks like these two are partaking in the annual festivities of the purge and are looking for a willing participant. This man makes an indistinguishable comment to the homeowner, but I don't believe they are aware of the recording device above them. There is no point in time where either turn to the camera or acknowledge its presence. A very lucky outcome for the vigilant resident inside who is watching them from the security of their own home. Number 5. Misconnection have you ever made eye contact with a stranger in public and wonder how long or why they were staring at you? That gut feeling could very well prepare you for a potential future encounter as seen in this above video. A TikTok user by the name of Caitlin D. Curtis claims this visitor approached her three days ago at a local park and insinuates that he memorized her vehicle and where she lived. In the beginning of the clip, you can see the man is walking incoherently and mumbling to himself before knocking the doorbell and peeking inside. He then moves to the center of the woman's porch and begins making weird gestures with his hands. The homeowner is capturing the man's erratic behavior and zooms in to get a better idea of what he looks like. The man continues to stand there for almost a full minute while talking to himself, and he continues touching the light fixtures with his erratic expressions and overall is just making no sense whatsoever. The homeowner says nothing and waits for him to leave on his own, and it's hard to say what this man wanted or how he was able to even remember all the identifying information leading him to the home considering the state of his mental well-being. Number 6. Bubblegut Becky This next clip could take the cake for the most revolting ring cam video I have ever seen in my entire life. It starts with the action straight away when we see a woman walk by an apartment complex unit and squat in front of the side of the building. For context, she doesn't live in the unit she is standing in front of, which makes her next actions that much more disgusting, revolting, and blindsiding. The woman, who I personally call Bubblegut Becky, proceeds to defecate in what can only be described as torpedo sharding with surround sound capability. After relieving herself on the stranger's property, she kicks her used napkins and underwear underneath the resident's wall panel. She then shrugs her arms to convey where else she was supposed to use the bathroom before walking merrily out of frame. I can only imagine what the homeowner must have thought when arriving home from work to find a care package from Bubblegut Becky waiting on their front doorstep. Number 7. Let the right one in. Our seventh clip in the countdown involves a case of mistaken identity when an overly aggressive man wearing a hoodie and jacket are let into the front entrance of this home by mistake. The homeowner opens the door without checking who it is and the mystery man walks right inside. Hello. Hi. How the are you, sir? Who are you? Everybody knows. I don't know where you Good. You need to leave. How far? The visitor mumbles a response before the homeowner lets him know he has to leave. When the visitor refuses, the homeowner must forcibly remove the man from the entryway to his home. After kicking at the door and trying the knob a few more times, he finally gives up the charade. This could have gone way worse for the homeowner if the visitor would have had a concealed weapon, and it just goes to show that it doesn't matter how safe you think your neighborhood might be. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Out there. What? What the... Come on, where are you going? What's the stairs? Goodbye, you. Number 8. Midnight Stroll There seems to be a trend formulating in this video where random people knock on strangers' doors at around 3 a.m. for absolutely no logical reason. The next woman in this clip walks up to this TikTok user's front door and pretends to knock. The camera picks up her motion and alerts the homeowner there is a visitor present. Now the homeowner is not playing any games and is privy to this type of ruse where a stranger knocks on the door and attempts to overpower you, usually with a partner, when you open the entryway. 
Although shaken up, the visitor claims she is stranded and needs assistance, but the homeowner isn't taking any chances and demands that she leaves. Do you think this was a legitimate car stranding at almost 4 a.m., or was the person walking around with a much more malicious intent? This lady walks up to my door, doesn't ring the bell, or even knock. She fakes like she's knocking, but my camera notified me there was a person at the door. So some of you guys have seen people do this before, we've heard about it. They act like they're in trouble or they're distressed, and then they try and get into your house for like a home invasion. So I grabbed my second amendment, and uh, look what happened. Three one. What the fuck are you doing? It's 3 in the fucking morning. I got out of No, you can't. Get the fuck away from Unfortunately, the ring app records in 30 second loops, and it just happened at that 30 seconds is when she walked away. But this is the last you could see of her. Me closing the door, and we're walking away scared as crap. Practice your second amendment. Number nine, special delivery. To continue on with our late night visit trend, our next clip shows a much more calm and collected gentleman who wears his sunglasses at night. He walks up to the ring cam and the homeowner responds to let him know that she is currently home and is aware of his presence. He awkwardly asks who the person on the intercom is and she responds calmly that she's the owner of the property that he is currently trespassing on. The man then claims that there was supposed to be a special delivery dropped off earlier and the woman, who is quick on her feet, plays along and tells him the package already came. In addition to not acting confused, the homeowner then proceeds to let the visitor know that she has a dog who is going crazy inside the home. She thanks the man and ends the conversation before the man stares off into oblivion. Now I often wonder if after these clips the perpetrator leaves right away or stays there for quite some time. I know that ring cams can only record in 30 second intervals so it'd be interesting to see what the aftermath is after the initial encounter. Oh. We can't. How can I help you? Oh, yeah, who's this? This is the owner of the house. Say what? This is the owner of the house. Oh, is it? Uh, I apologize. There, there must be some complication because uh, I believe somebody was, meant, somebody was meant to drop something off here, I guess. Yeah, we took it already. That's why we're up. We have a dog that's barking. Why are you oh, here? Okay, good. I was, I was just wondering. Make sure you, you received your, your pickup or whatever. Yeah, thank you. Number 10, the Karen next door. Last but certainly not least, this TikTok user and ring cam owner captured the moments her incredibly over-the-top neighbor tries to scold her for using her own amenities while upstairs in her unit. The blonde middle-aged woman, who I will appropriately call Karen, waves off her crazy flag and persistence when she aggressively rings the doorbell after her upstairs neighbor flushes the toilet too loudly. When she doesn't get an immediate response, she begins shouting into the apartment complex's corridor until the ring cam owner responds over the intercom. The neighbor shouts at the apartment owner to shut up and to stop making so much noise. The apartment owner claims that all she did was flush her toilet late at night, and since she's in the unit above from the neighbor featured in the clip, the Karen thought it was incredibly inconsiderate. When the owner responds by saying nobody cares about how pissed off she is, this really sets off Karen's motor and she comes back for one last blow to the door. Go downstairs, Karen. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. I care. You're making I care. It's kind of ironic how much self-awareness this woman lacks, but to people living in apartment complexes, have you ever had to deal with or witness a crazy Karen next door? And that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I really appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next one.